Hi there guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to um, create this glass card effect on Elementor. So actually we're going to build this entire section. So the first thing that I'm going to do in order to build this is to come here and create a new section. Okay, actually it's going to be a two column section. Now on the right side, right, I'm going to be adding an image which is going to be this image that, that we have up here. Okay, so that the image is this one here. I'm going to be inserting that. And then I'm going to be adding some uh, border radius, as you can see up there. So just come here and let's say 50, uh, 100, then maybe 200, and then maybe 20. So something like that. It's not going to be exactly as this one here, but uh, pretty close, right? So I'm just gonna um, uh, increase this column width, let's say to 60% more or less. And then here to the right section, I'm gonna be adding um, a text, right? Like hidden text, okay? Like uh, adding create awesome websites is what it say so create oops, awesome web sites so let's give some style to this one here I think that the color uh, that I'm using is 37, 37 something like this and then here on topography around something like that whoops here we go here so just come here and add some um, font size now just below that there is um, an icon list something like this <coughs> icon list right star <coughs> I'm gonna be removing this and I'm, give, I'm gonna give some style to this star like uh, let's say this size and the color is gonna be light yellow perfect so I'm gonna be adding not one star but five okay apparently you need to update and space between perfect so something like that and then this button here I think that is a good gradient button which is that I have it right here perfect I'm gonna say medium and the text find out more so whatever style it's gonna be like um, the border feed it's gonna be right all around again <coughs> right all around. And background type it's gonna be gradient something like this blue over here changing some angle and here I'm gonna be adding some uh, there you go some 
for the radius I think that 20 is gonna be enough perfect now as you can see that button there has uh, an icon so I'm gonna be adding, uh, adding that icon just this is uh, like down great uh, the icon is gonna be after here you go and um, spacing perfect that the border radius is not enough for 20 we're gonna add 50 and then to that icon I'm going to add some uh, size <coughs> width button border type location mm -hmm. icon spacing Anyway, I'm gonna figure out later. <coughs> anyway, now now here comes the funny part is is the part where I create this um, fancy uh, glass effect on the car, right? So in order to do that, the only thing that you have to do is just to come here. First of all, you have to install the um, WN Glass Icons uh, for Elementor, which is a, a, a plugin uh, on WordPress. I'll leave you the link in the description and and then you need to come here once it's installed then you need to come here and find this widget and drag it and then drop it right at the top of the column where you want to add that um, effect right either that column or this column here but please notice that uh, you need to add it right has the first element on that column. So I'm just gonna drop it here and Probably you, you're not noticing Nothing see it, but it's already applying the glass effect to uh, this column here. Now you're not um, aware of that because uh, The background is white. So but just in order to show you I'm gonna add some um, Background here different than white. Let's say I'm gonna be adding a cut, uh, an image that right there. As you can see, the glass effect is already applied uh, down there. Um, more than that, uh, there is some extra style that hasn't been applied automatically. Like uh, there is a thin white border, okay, solid, and there is uh, some border radius here. So I'm gonna be show you how to change or modify that. So first of all, I'm gonna be adding some in this column. I'm gonna be adding some uh, margin on the top, like let's say 200, maybe too much, 100, and then at the bottom, something like 100. So I'm gonna have something like this, right? Then just after that, I'm gonna select the the glassy uh, effect uh, widget again. I'm gonna increase the blur. So as you can see, you can go up to 20 and down to zero, which means going to be um, entirely transparent. So I'm gonna be adding some number in between, like uh, let's say 12. I think that uh, that's, that's enough, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna, just let me create it here. And I'm going to be adding some um, column I'm gonna be adding some pattern in order to separate the the elements from the border just a little bit perfect something like that so just in order to give a better style here I'm gonna be adding some uh, margin top margin to this uh, cold action button here Let's say 50 great okay now now that I have show you that that the glass effect is right there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this background so it looks white again and I'm going to be uh, positioning this image here has absolute oops sorry now 
once it's absolute I can uh, drag it to whatever I want it now please notice that that this uh, image is in front of this section so what you have to do is to come here to columns and add some uh, higher value let's say 5 for example so whatever value you add which is higher than the value that this this image has it means that it's going to be in front this image is zero is, is, is uh, by default i think that it's zero but if you add two then it's going to be like um it's, go, it's going to be like uh, this section is going to be in front of the image as well so once this is um this image is positioned as, as absolute so i'm going to increase the max width and the width so I'm gonna have something like this great perfect but now please notice that this section here still have like a box shadow effect which we are gonna be adding right now so I'm gonna come here select this column right which is this card here and then I'm gonna come to the border section and I'm gonna add the box shadow effect something like that now notice that maybe this uh, default box shadow effect is too intense for a glass effect um, car so I'm gonna be modifying this a little bit I'm gonna decrease uh, this to 0 0.1 0 0.15 let's say and I'm gonna be adding the blur up to uh, 20 something like that perfect now notice that we already have a pretty much similar uh, effect than this one up here the only thing that is missing is the scrolling effect okay I'm gonna be adding some more this great and here then I'm gonna be coming to the advanced motion effect scrolling effect and then I'm gonna be adding some horizontal uh, scrolling there you go perfect now we have something like what we have up there okay so uh, what is important here is that once you add the, um, this widget here which is the widget that controls the, um, the glass morphine glass morphemes effect uh, then you're gonna notice that some uh, some extra styles will where are going to be applied automatically like this thin uh, white uh, border and this uh, border radius right so what is important to say here is that you can come to the column settings and override that at any point so let's say you want to remove the white border so the only thing that you have to do is to come here select solid and say it has a border uh, thickness or width say zero and as you can see the border has just disappeared if you want to increase it you can put five or if you want to change the color just change the color so you can uh, do it the way they want for this example I'm gonna keep it like a 5 and white with some transparency sounds like that so the same thing for the border radius by default it has 10 pixels I think uh, but if you want to zero to zero you just need to enter a zero number there or if you want to increase it up to 50 then you can uh, do it like this okay by the way this is not good uh, let's say maybe 30 okay something like that okay so uh, this is all uh, I hope you have enjoyed the video and I really hope that you guys you enjoy this um, this widget uh, I'm I'm using it in every single design that I web design that I'm doing so I hope that is uh, so useful as, as it is for me uh, please notice that this is this use um, 
um, here, this is uh, Elementor Class Effect use a CS property called Background Filter, which is not supported yet by Firefox. So this um, uh, this property that makes this effect possible is not supported yet by Firefox. It is uh, supported by uh, Chrome and Safari among other browsers, but not yet by uh, Internet Explorer or Firefox. On Firefox is under um, development, so it's going to be available soon. But uh, at the day that I'm recording this video, it's not yet available. So, uh, so guys, uh, have a good day, and hope you enjoyed this widget. Bye for now.